we are a vanishing fraction of physicians, we as black men in medicine uh, here in the United States. But here at Nationwide Children's and at The Ohio State University College of Medicine, we're really trying to change that narrative. All too often, it's very easy to get caught up in the work, the day-to-day -day grind of, of medicine. It can be very easy to get caught up in that grind and forget about the important work of building the next generation of leaders in medicine. That's one of the things I love about Black Men in Medicine because it's a group of young people who remind me why I'm doing what I'm doing. And really, it's almost like looking at a mirror, uh, being able to see what I am pouring into others uh, and being able to see the generation of Black Men in Medicine that, that I'm, a, uh, I'm privileged to, to get to mentor, being able to see them pour into others as well. When I think of Black Men in Medicine, uh, the first thing that comes to mind for me, I would say, is uh, brotherhood. Uh, I think of brotherhood, I think of uh, mentorship, uh, and I really think of uh, community. Being a part of Black Men in Medicine means the world to me. It means, some, it means having a group of people that I can share my accomplishments with and share that I struggles with, someone that can help me along the way and someone that I can turn to uh, in my times of need. I really feel like these are my brothers, these are people that I'm going through the ringer with and the ones that I share, that, that I share the good times with as well. I um, came from a small town with minimal diversity. I was one of the only minorities across my state graduation in high school. So I think coming here and having an instant community to lean on from people that whether or not I actually know them, from M2s, M3s, M4s, all, all the way up to attending physicians, it's been amazing to have an instant demographic that looks like me, thinks like me, instant mentorship, and instant community to lean on. Yeah, you know, I came to Ohio State because I heard about the diversity here, the black men that are here, and you know, when I was interviewing at a lot of medical schools, I didn't find that a lot of places. So then coming here, seeing all the diversity, especially the black men, I found my home that I didn't see during undergrad or even when I was out interviewing at many medical schools. So just finding my family here and just showing me how I can impact medicine, which we're all trying to do, I've never felt at home until now. Black men in medicine really is the brotherhood that I did not know I needed, but brotherhood that I can't live without these days. I think having this sort of network of people that look like me who have had similar experiences, sort of dealing with the imposter syndrome that comes in this space, um, it's really nice to know that I don't have to explain myself to these people that I can really just show up and exist and I don't have to be the voice of reason for anybody <laughs> you know it's really nice to just exist in the space and and it really is safe i think for me being part of black men in medicine is about fostering that community among people who look like me and being able to understand like what role i play in that community i think it's easy to get really excited about being here and and thinking and conceptualizing on my own what that looks like but then hearing about the experiences that other people have come before me um, have had and the impact that they've had on patients really kind of helps me understand how important it is that I really hone the skills that I'm here to acquire and make sure that I continue to uh, work on those skills so that once I get really grounded in that area, I can then feed back and give back into like the next generation that comes after me. Black Man of Medicine has meant like so much to me. Uh, it's been nice to build a you know, sense of community. I mean, from the attendings and the faculty, you know, Dr. Ray, Dr. McDougal, Dr. Smith, um, I mean, through the residents, through all, all of us med students. I mean, I felt so supported. I mean, I remember the first Black Man in Medicine event last year. Um, everyone came up to me like, introduced themselves to me, made sure they got my name, gave me their numbers, and it just made me feel like I was welcome here. Leaving these meetings, I feel like recharged, re-energized. I feel, I'm honestly inspired. I mean, seeing these guys coming here, supporting me, this is, I mean, this is, this is what I wanna do. This is where I wanna be one day. You know, being an attending a faculty like that and helping the, the next generation of Black Men in Medicine. Black Men in Medicine is an organization that means a tremendous amount to me. It is one of the big reasons why I wanted to come to, to uh, Nationwide Children's and The Ohio State University as faculty, uh, because I wanted to be a part of uh, something bigger than myself. And so when I get to be a faculty mentor to these young black men in medicine, medical students and medical trainees who are working to establish themselves in this field, uh, it is a huge privilege, not just because of what it will mean for our community, 
but what it will mean for all of us. Black physicians care for all Americans, all patients, and they do so with dignity and integrity and strength and power and promise.